Let's cut things down to the absolute simplest terms. If you're a freelancer and you don't have clients, then you don't have a business. All the time you're spending on your business plan, logo, and social media accounts is a complete waste of time if you don't have clients. Let's say you're a filmmaker. This is what you need to start getting work. Step one, create a reel. Step two, get clients. Now step two is the part where most people start working on their logo for the next three months. But in order to make things happen, you need to be able to turn your art into a business. And you need clients, fast. So how do you get them? It always starts with hustle. Every guest I've had on my podcast has one thing in common. They created their own opportunity. So I walked in off the street and was like, hey, she's like, can I help you? <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm a photographer. And she's like, great, you know, make an appointment. You know, offered my time whenever I could. I came in for free. Like I never, it was never about money for me. I was a guy that was like, do you need anything? Do you want anything? How can I help? What can I do? I had to like craft it out of whole cloth, I think. And it, and, and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't linear by any stretch of the imagination. Daniel Prakopic recently traveled the country on tour as John Mayer's photographer. After that, he uprooted his business and relocated to LA. The problem, he didn't have any clients in the area. This is when you hustle. I just started emailing and calling and texting and anyone that I can get a coffee, a lunch, a dinner, a drink, anything that I can do that maybe someone could hire me for, I'm doing. That's just a hustle, man. <laughs> that is, and I'm by myself, so it's not like I have an agent doing it. What has been the the, the conversion of, of success? Like, I mean, you go out, you, about all these people that you reach out to, it's like mm -hmm. how many of them turn into a paying gig for you? Maybe three or four people it's happened to already, mm -hmm. which is great. Out of how many people that you reach out to? Just like dozens and dozens? <laughs> Hundreds. Hundreds? I mean, I've, I'll sit and DM people. I'll sit and email any photo editor I can possibly get my hands on. I'm tr I just cannot stop. That's I'm like, Because I get in this weird mode of like, I need to work. Mm -hmm. Always. And if I'm not editing or retouching or whatever I'm doing one week, I have to be shooting the next week. If I'm not doing it that day, I have to be shooting the next day. Like stuff like that, I have to keep myself busy or I get in this weird like cabin fever. When you're reaching out to these people uh, and like a lot of it will be lunch or coffee or whatever, mm -hmm. like is what's the approach or, or is it different every time is sometimes it's like, like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm currently taking on work. If like, how does, how are you normally messaging um, people? Let me what you, am can't I go, you can't go out yeah. on like a hundred coffees. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, it's, I did it the other day. I was like, I had someone with Interscope. I had someone that's a freelance producer that, and then someone else, like, you just like back together. And I was like, you're like back to back to back and I'm running around LA just like full having tea. Eight, like, yeah, I can't yeah, have yeah, coffee. Yeah. I'm like, can't like, have eight coffees in a day. Um, but yeah, you have to, I think I'll, a lot of it is intros to people from people like my fiance helps yeah. me with intros and then other people have introed me to other people and all that kind of stuff and then I'm like hey like let's go get lunch and then hopefully that'll be the way to get into with people like because I think face to face is so much better than like email and be like hey I'm available for work and they'd be like okay cool I'll keep you in mind like they'll yeah. never no I say that to people all the time half the time I say no. yeah it's like oh yeah no I'll keep you in mind for future stuff archive yeah. and then because it's like it takes a lot of effort for me to recall people and especially yeah. when somebody else is going to message me a couple weeks later for sure with the same request i'm like eh, it doesn't really like you can't do like especially for photo editors like they get hundreds of emails a day from photographers who want to shoot for the magazine and mm -hmm. it's really hard to get anybody to respond to you i didn't get i think i got three responses out of the 50 emails that i sent one week and it's like fine like yeah. i get it um you have to send promos out you have to send this stuff out you have to get meetings with people and like you just have to hustle Three clients might not sound like a lot for the amount of work you need to put in, but I can trace back 75% of my work and some of my biggest projects to a handful of early clients. When you get a client and you deliver them massive amounts of value, you're creating a snowball effect that will continue to build over time. But here's the key that will separate you from every other freelancer. It's not just about hustle. It's about intentional hustle. Start by asking the right questions about the clients you want to get the work you'd love to do, and how to best grow your business. And from there, you can put your head down and get to work. You can find The Ground Up Show on your favorite podcasting app. Go to groundupshow.com for all the links.